Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I picked up a couple of things from Amazon, uh, a couple of things that I've been wanting to try out to share with you guys. And so I have here this glue skillet. So this is the Sherbonder glue skillet. Now, if you don't know what this is, it pretty much melts down hot glue and you can use that glue in your craft projects. So just like you would use, um, you know, a hot glue gun to melt down your glue, uh, that's what this does, but it's only like a little, you know, skillet or pot. And then you actually will dip your like floral picks or, you know, just whatever you want to be glued to your craft project. Uh, you would just dip it in here. Um, so I've been wanting to try one of these out. I've heard a lot of other crafters really like these and so I went on to Amazon and I um, You know went through those reviews trying to find the best one for the money And so this is actually one of the cheaper priced ones other ones, you know, they have bigger ones um, Some that had different features, you know, you could adjust the temperature setting high low things like that Of course those were priced more and so I wanted to keep the price down just trying this out for the first time so I picked this one up then I also picked up these little pellets again the Sherbonder skillet glue these are little pellets that you add to your little skillet they melt down and these are supposed to be less stringing so have less of those annoying strings that you get when you're working with hot glue so I wanted to go ahead and you know talk about this just a little bit get it out of the package get it plugged in melt down some glue and see how well that it works and how fast it takes for the glue to melt and so I thought that would be something good to know and so that is what we're going to do today so I'm going to give you a closer look so here it is guys again glue skillet for florals and crafts by Sherbonder and then you can see where it plugs in here now it does have a little piece here that you can attach I think using one of these screws and you can actually use things like hot glue sticks in there so you don't have to use the glue pellets and so here on the back just a quick little look you can see this little picture here you can insert glue sticks and in here you just dip and glue so you can dip things like pine columns floor picks and things like that here's a little quick look at the instructions pretty straightforward just plug it in you don't really adjust any settings there's no settings to adjust so simple and straightforward so now I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the package So here it is out of the package. You can see just simple, couple of pieces. This here, of course, you remove a screw, you add it back through the hole, and it'll hold one of these little glue sticks so you don't have to use the pellets. So right now I'm really not going to attach that. Um, I wanna use the pellets, see how it does. Um, so again, just straightforward. I don't see any place where there's a button or an adjustment to any settings, temperature, high and low, nothing like that. So just a little kind of a sticker here and just the cord to plug it in. So another quick look at these little glue pellets. Now it says strong bond, ooh, made in the USA, that's good. One pound bag, less stringing. And so you can see these are little pellets. They look like little cut up glue sticks. <laughs> so I've actually read reviews where people, they did use glue sticks and did cut them into pieces. That is something I have not tried, but it seems like that would work. Um, but of course, if you already have glue sticks, you can use these. Uh, once again, you know, you don't have to get the glue pellets. I just wanted to give them a try because I think the glue pellets are more expensive compared to the glue sticks. And again, the glue sticks work in the skillet. So this was a separate purchase. It did not come with the skillet. And so I did have to purchase these separately. So I added some pellets, I plugged in the skillet, and then started my timer on my phone to see how long it's gonna take to melt this glue down and it's ready to use. And so you can see I didn't add too many of the pellets. You wanna make sure not to overfill it. Once it melts down, you don't want it running over. So don't put uh, too many in at a time. 
So it's been 10 minutes so far and you can see it's almost melted down. There's a few little chunks there, but something I noticed, there's little handles here on the side. Um, but just feeling of it, it's a tad warm, but really nothing major. You can see I'm like holding this on all sides. So right now at this point, the outside is not hot. I'm sure the middle inside is. So I'll keep on letting it melt down, share with you a few more minutes later. So now we're at 15 minutes. You can see it's mostly melted, but you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not super clear. Like there's still, um, the glue hasn't melted down enough. Now if I take, yeah, you can totally tell that it's still kind of thick. It's melted, but it's thick. I mean, I guess you could use it at this point, but for me, I would like it to melt down even more. But it's been 16 minutes now, and this is what it's looking like. So now it's been 18 minutes, and guys, I'm pretty sure this is fine to use. You can see it is melted down. I don't really feel any glue chunks in here. It is melted down and you could use it at this point. And if I take this little stick here, popsicle stick or craft stick, I don't see any strings. You can see I just turned it and it seems like it is doing really well. So I'm actually really loving this so far. And another good thing, there was a string. Now another good thing, if you touch it, again, it's warm, but it's not hot. Now I did see on this package, I did find on this package, if you can see it, of course, do not touch the inside of the skillet or melt up glue. Temperatures can reach up to 400 degrees. So, I mean, that is good to know about this. And then here for best results, you want to use the, you know, skillet glue pellets and um, glue sticks by Sherbonder for best results. So we'll see. That's what I'm using now. So um, if you want, you can try out other things. There was a glue string here. So I'm sure there will be some stringing. It just says less stringy. But I'm really kind of loving it. So overall, I think it is, you know, working like it should. To me, it's not hot. It melted the glue in around, you know, 15, 18 minutes. To me, that's not bad. Um, by the time I plug in the skillet, I can do that first, then round up my craft projects, supplies, and things like that. And so I think that amount of time is not bad. So I'm happy with that. So guys, I love it. I would purchase it again. I think for the money, you know, it's a really great deal for what you get and it seems to work just fine. Now, of course, as time goes on, I'll use it in crafting videos and I'll try to share with you updates along the way. Now, I still have it plugged in. You can see I'm holding the handles here, but I really don't have to. It's been under 30 minutes and still the outside is warm, but it's not burning me. And so again, that is good. The outside is not getting super hot. So nobody wants to get burned, so I think that's good for safety reasons. Now the, the size is small, but for me, I think, you know, you know, making a wreath or doing, you know, a craft project, um, to me, this size being small um, works fine for me. It seems like it melts down enough glue to do, you know, a few projects. Now the good part is when you're done doing your project, you just unplug it from your outlet and then just let it cool. That glue should kind of firm up, uh, but there's really no cleanup. You don't have to remove the glue or clean it out when you're ready to do another craft project just plug it in that glue will melt down and if you need to add more glue you can now when I am finished using those little pellets um, because the glue sticks are cheaper I may give them a try next and see how it works if they do just fine I'll probably just use the glue sticks um, so you know again I'll just give it a try along the way and see how it works for me but so far just out of the box plugging it in I'm 
really happy with the purchase. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of my crafting projects, you can check those out now. If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel and I will see you later.